to be a tender person. I can be revengeful, but uh, maybe I'm very mammal in, in ways that uh, I get attached to people. When I sold this movie to the financiers, I said it's going to be a psychedelic melodrama. And so part of it's a melodrama, and part of it's like an experimental movie, mm -hmm. trying to reproduce some altered states of consciousness. Maybe yeah, if I had to reconsider my, my yeah, maybe the rape scene in Reversible is a, is a scene that would not shock me, but uh, would impress me because yeah, it's a, yeah, I, I understand that people come out offended or have adrenaline rushes watching the scene. Uh, yeah, I could do a movie without violence, but I, I think sex is very essential in life. I don't know, maybe one day if I do a movie for kids, maybe there will be no sex and no violence. Okay. Mainly, if, if I hadn't seen 2001 Space Odyssey when I was a kid, maybe I would not be directing movies nowadays. It's just well, you, when you experience such an incredible dream, and you, as, as a spectator, like, uh, watching 2001 A Space Odyssey as a kid was like a, the ultimate dream for me. Uh, I would have an idea of what the future could look like. I, I, I saw an image of the future for the first time in my life. I, I felt like I had my first drug experience. Well, that ultimate dream that I had at the age of six or seven brought me to, uh, to want to become the, the wizard of Oz like uh, Kubrick was the wizard of Oz. He created a world in which he was the master. And now I enjoy bringing people to some like mental space that I created for them. You build a movie like you build a roller coaster, but uh, it's funny to be the, 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 you know, the, the creator of that roller coaster.